welcome 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 everybody to another great episode of real life matters and of course i am your host d boss and i just want to thank everybody who's been subscribing to the channel um obviously you could see me on care vision from monday to friday at um 10 p.m eastern standard time to um 12 a.m eastern standard time and if and it goes through through the cable networks in the states and also on bell five channel 658 I think you have to subscribe to a group. And also, if you missed all that and you haven't seen me at all, you can go to my YouTube channel. You can subscribe, like, share, and um, you could see all the wonderful guests that I, I make some comments also, you know, that helps with the algorithms and stuff like that for the channel, even though it's, you know, it's there so that people could see who see themselves and also their family, their friends or their company can see their self to share the video. That's why it's up there. But, but because I have to share the actual footage to go onto the B-roll with the um, actual TV station. That's why um, my YouTube channel is, is low. <laughs> so I just, you know, I just encourage everybody to do that. Also, I hope everybody's been doing their 15 minutes of laughing because that helps you put out a good energy for the day. It helps you to release that stress. It helps you that if you're you're not feeling good it brings on a lot of healing for your body you know a lot of people don't know a lot of the health benefits of laughing you know a lot of people say i don't have anybody to laugh with yes you do you can call somebody if you know somebody makes you funny you know makes you laugh and stuff or you could put on there's so much stuff that you could stream that you know that can something that can make you laugh but you know i hope everybody doesn't have to go through that full extreme if they you know if they can't find anybody at all and they said i can't laugh at anything well they actually do have laughing classes that people can you know can sign up for and go you know you do it every day you'll feel better trust me i've been doing it for a while i've gotten a lot of feedback from people saying that they've been doing it also and it starts their day off good you could do it you don't have to just do it once a day you could do it twice a day but we're going to hear something from one of our sponsors here, um, Vital Steps to Vital Health, and we'll be right back. Welcome to your Vital Steps to Better Health and Fitness. I'm Joanne James. Today we're talking about how exercise affects stress. Everybody has stress in some way in their lives, but regular exercise is a powerful tool for managing your stress level. A couple of things that it does. One is it releases endorphins, which is a feel-good hormone into your system that gives you more energy, makes you feel good, and reduces your anxiety and probably eliminates your depression. Also, exercise is a distraction. It keeps you thinking about other things other than your problems that you're having. So exercise whenever you're feeling stressed, that will distract you. Exercise also improves your sleep quality by regulating your sleep pattern, which is increasing your resilience to stress. So get a good night's sleep and you'll get that after you exercise. So make sure you incorporate exercise into your daily lifestyle and that way you'll get a lot less stress in your life. I'm Joanne James and this has been your Vital Steps to Better Health and Fitness. See you next time. And thank you, Joanne James, for that health tip. Stress, I just talked about relieving stress. Yes, you can exercise. That's very important. But you also can you know, do the laughing. And also, you can go and sub subscribe to the app, the streaming app for um, Care Vision. Well, today we got an author. Now, this is a little bit different. But, you know, it's a lot of nature. She has a lot of, you know, she's talking about stuff. But we're going to find out exactly what what type of book this is what's the whole excitement around this um novel called um the yellow birds and it says it's take a trip with the group groupies into the bohemian love story so 
With no further ado, I'm going to introduce to you the author, and we're going to find out about her journey, what she went through, you know, and any of the stumbling blocks that she had, the oppositions, you know, because people like to hear about those things because the oppositions makes, makes you go through, so you want to have success. So with no further ado, I introduce to you Karen Green. Hi there. Hi Thank there. you so much for having Hi. me. <laughs> you see all those those tips there? I'm telling you, it's uh... a... <laughs> I need to laugh more. I'm going to do more. that. <laughs> no, but it helps. Yeah, I, I, believe, yeah, it. I believe it. It helps you and it help, It makes you feel better and, and everything else. So tell us, everybody here likes to know on Real Life Matters, like where do you come from and your cultural background? Uh, so I am uh, so from I born and raised from Toronto. Uh, my background uh, my is background Ashkenazi Jewish. Jewish. My parents Jewish. are parents from Eastern are Europe. From Eastern my grandparents Europe. are from Eastern, from Eastern Europe. And so that's a big and part of my culture. Uh, but my family uh, has, my is family in Toronto, Toronto and Toronto New York City, and New York City for about the past hundred years. Wow. Well, we have we have we have another lady. She's um she has a Jewish background, but sh I guess what she still does Jewish, but she's a singer. She oh, sings yeah. in, in, yeah, she lives out in Florida. So, you know, she, she's into all, you know, all the R and B and stuff like that. And she's, she has her culture. She puts it on. So I said, wow, you know, it's just, I, 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 I really embrace when you guys come on and you guys step out to do things like the, you know, an author. So what inspired you to want to write books? Well, I've always, well, I've always been, a writer, been a writer, which is something that a lot of writers will say, uh, but it's really the only thing I've ever done. It's been the only job I've ever had. It's the, the only kind of art I really pursue. So, you know, that's, this, it was just the time was right for me to do something longer and pursue novel writing. Okay, so how many novels have you written? Well, I've written well, three. This is the first one that's being published. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. So three. So you. So you're. Are you going to publish the other two? Yeah, we'll see. Maybe yeah. after this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So what? What's the? You know, like the, What's the? What can I say? The analog between yellow birds and what did you call it that? Yeah, so the Yellow yeah, Birds so the yellow represents birds a group represent of people in my story, in my story and they're a group of music fans. Music fans. That's really what oh. the story is about. It's about a group of music fans that follow a band from town to town and they are building their own community as they go. And sometimes that community is a healthy community. Sometimes it's not quite as healthy, but it's all about the adventures that they have on the road as they go from place to place following this band and the relationships they, they make the connections yeah. they make and, and really it's about, it's about trying, to trying, to trying to find a place where you belong. Okay. So it's the band members or the people that are, is groupies, you call them, right? Yeah. I mean, really they're fans, right? You know, they're just okay. they're die hard, really serious fans. All right. So for you, so what happened? So did you break it down by like characters? or you know without telling out the whole book but you know how did you <laughs> yeah well, dissect the story a follows, bit? Yeah, story yeah story a young woman named kate, woman named kate who's, really who's really not feeling, not like, she's feeling like, belonging like she's belonging in her very traditional you know, suburban, you know life, suburban life and she's life, looking for something else for something and she, else. Kind, of she kind of happens upon this opportunity, upon this opportunity to, to join, join this group of people this following this band so she takes that opportunity so and it's really about her really adventure. About it's her a road trip. trip. It's a coming of age story. It's, it's about trip. all it's the characters that you meet story. along the way. It's and it's, you know, all these the people that can seem chaotic, really chaotic, but really they, chaotic, they know what they're doing. They, they, they may, know doing. you know, it, it seems a little crazy. Like when we look at this kind of community from the outside, we may think that these people look People disorganized and chaotic and, and chaotic. you know they're not really, you know, they're not really fulfilling any part of society part but of society, you know they all have a purpose you know, they and they all have purpose, big they hearts they and hearts. they're all there to kind of learn something from it's not always it's not something always that's that healthy that's or that productive healthy but you know you learn something from everybody along the way 
So does any of the characters represent yourself? I would say that they're all kind of <laughs> they're closets. All kind. I don't I don't want to <laughs> take you know. <laughs> I've had people say to me, "Am I going to recognize myself in this book?" Because I have had you know similar experiences to some of the things I'm writing about. And really, I love to observe people. I love to watch people, talk to people, learn their stories, or make up my own stories for those people. So my characters are all kind of a, a composite of people that I've kind of met along the way. Oh, okay. All right. So because people, if you haven't seen the cover, you'll see it on the promo, the promo card, is that she, she has on these flare bottom jeans and she's in a car and, and, and her legs are crossed out the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's on the road, right? She, they're they're going down the road, and you know they're off to the next adventure. They're going to the next place that the band is going to be, and sometimes you know they know what they're in, what's in store for them, but sometimes it's really quite an unknown, which is where the adventure part comes in. All right, so the unknown is what you got. Everybody's got to read about. So, how long did it take you to put this on novel together? It took me a good few years. Good few years. I, I'm not a fast I'm writer. Not a fast writer. Oh, and okay. I, I had to wait until there was like that time and space in my life to really be able to do this. And I don't mind doing it as, you know, a, a middle-aged woman. I, my kids are a little bit older now and I gave myself that time and space to do it. So it did take me a few years and that's okay because, but once things start happening, they go quickly. So, did your kids did your kids read the novel or are gonna read it? They say they're gonna read it. They say they're gonna read it. <laughs> <laughs> Give us they a tell them. Yeah. You better read it. Yeah, I'm and write some, the review. <laughs> right? Give me a five star review, but there's some parts of the book I, I don't know if I necessarily want to discuss with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, you know, kids and stuff, they know more than you think. They definitely do. And my girls are teenagers now and they could probably be teaching me a few things. I know because, you know, when we knew things too, we thought, well, we thought we knew it all, you know. For sure. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why I set my book just before what I call the digital revolution. So there's no cell phones. There's no Google. You need to solve your problems on your own. And and and, then, and there's no map that. quest or, or exactly. Google Maps, <laughs> right? But but I think that was such an advantage to you know, to, you know growing up. Growing we we might have gotten into gotten trouble, but we also trouble. learned how to get out of it. Yeah, and we knew and we knew what time meant because we didn't have nobody to call at cell phone. If you had to meet them at the bus stop for five o'clock, people knew you better be over there. <laughs> That's right. Or that's else, right. or else, the only thing we could use is the pay phone. Remember those? Yeah. Oh, I sure do. The yeah, pay phone. The pay phone to call people and tell people, and if you didn't hear them, you didn't hear them answer the phone, then you knew, okay, well, they got to be here shortly. That's right. And you know what? In a in a book, in a story, it, you take away the adventure and you take away all of the problems that you want to put your characters into. So I wanted to make sure that my characters got into a little bit of trouble because that's where the interesting part is. Um, and, and I didn't want anybody to be to be able to Google their way out of their troubles. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Let me Google. Let me find it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, it's that's you know, but the people even so is your book available in um audio format also or is it just It will be. Yes, it will be very soon. Okay. I was actually just talking about that today with my publisher, so that's coming soon. That's coming soon. Yeah. Because you know, every some people can't um, you know, they have maybe have a disability or something and it's easier Absolutely. for them. Absolutely. And it's also yeah. easier yeah. to read if, you know, people are driving and they want to hear the book. They, you know, I, I know a lot of people, like if they're driving long distances and stuff, yeah. they're listening yeah. to something. I do a that. A story, yeah. a book. Yeah. yeah, I walk the dog yeah, and listen to audiobooks, dog, drive long distances drive and listen to them. So I'm excited that I'm this excited will be available as an audiobook as, well. audiobook as well. All right. So how many pages is it? Um, It's just under um, 300. It's so it's not a very long read. Okay, and it's an easy read then. Yeah, it's a fun, easy read. So who did you um, get to do your cover? So my publishing so my company publishing did that, did that. Uh, the wonderful oh. Rebooks. Yeah, and really, I, I love the cover so much. I think it's absolutely perfect. I was so happy when I saw it, and 
it made me feel like my publishing team really understood what we were doing and and they really pay great service to this book i'm so happy okay so how much is it going for about the book it's going to be 24.99 for the soft cover oh yeah that's good that's a good price for 25 dollars. yeah yeah so that's a good you know people get out there and this guess it's going to be all the, on all the major platforms Yep, it'll be available everywhere you like to buy books. Uh, the ebook is already available for pre order as well. And I'm hoping libraries will have it soon as well. Well, all right. So, um, Karen, um, what are you, you think you're going to write something else or are you going to keep pull off one of those books after? I, yeah, I will definitely keep writing. <laughs> but publish it. That's the thing. Yes. That's the key. That is the key. <laughs> That's the key to the thing. Yeah. All right. So yeah. any, any shout outs that you want to give to your people? Oh, I just want to say, oh, honestly, thank, thank you to my publishers, my Rebecca, publishers, Chloe, Rebecca, Chloe, Deanna, Deanna my whole Deanna, team, my whole are, so team are so amazing. Um, my family um, knows family how much they mean to me. I tell them all the time, but I'm, I'm really, I'm proud, really of my, proud of my, my publishing team. team. So kudos so, to them. All right. And if people have to follow you on social medias, where can they find you? So the best place to so follow best me best is on follow. Instagram and I'm at Karen I'm Green, at Karen Green underscore, underscore author. author. Oh, okay. Instagram people. And when the book comes out, please, I'm begging you, <laughs> make the comments because that helps their algorithms. That helps the, you know, Karen see, okay, what, what kind of feedback she's getting? Cause you know, if you just click like, that doesn't mean anything. It means something is you're clicking like on it, but she wants to hear what part do you like, you know, you like this, you know, give them and, and she will give you feedback. Well, I better she better. Absolutely. I will, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, but people don't realize how important it is, you know, to get that feedback or either go to the website and just send her a note or you like blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter how, if it's lengthy or if it's short. It's okay. It's all the same, you know? So, you know, I, when you come back, Karen, I hope when you come back here, you will have another book and we'll be, we'll be keeping an eye on you to find out what this, how this book's going to go. Okay. Well, I will absolutely do that. And I'd love to come back anytime. Yes. Yes. You, you, you really have to, but you know, it's been a pleasure and you know, I wish you all the success with this, you know, this novel and you know, it's coming out just like before the like summertime, you know, you know, especially in Toronto, how we have all these festivals. That's right. <laughs> and all, and since your book is reflecting like a life of musicians, that's what it is over here. You know, you got it. You got it. All right. All right. So I thank you, Karen. You guys go and purchase the book. The book's not expensive. You know, follow her, ask any questions. I'm just, you know, re reiterating that again. So anyways, I do want to thank all the watchers for tuning in and watch me here with Karen Green, the author of Yellow Birds. So good night and bye for now. <laughs>